Hello there, my friends and fellow fans of Gigantic Battle Walkers, and welcome once again to my Collegia Titanica lore series. Since the lore on Titans is actually much bushier than you might expect, today's video will deal with a few general aspects of Titan weaponry, along a few bits about their defenses. This, in turn, will allow my next videos to actually focus on the Titan types themselves, as well as go deeper in regards to individual weapon systems. I am your host, the Grim Dark Narrator, and without further ado, let us delve into some more Titan lore, shall we? Titan weapons are a family of massive-sized weapons carried by Titans. Any one of several classes of massive bipedal combat walkers fielded by the Titan Legions of the Titanica, or by the forces of Chaos Dark Mechanicum. Titan weapons are designed differently to weapons used on vehicles or by the standard Imperial Guard infantry squad, and bumped up to a much larger scale. They are designed to last, to sustain massive amounts of damage that would destroy most armored vehicle mounted weapons, and continue to keep working. The firepower of a Titan's weapons is related to the size and power output of its plasma reactor. All of these factors are taken into account of a weapon's various grade. Titans carry a mixture of weapons into battle. This is known as a weapon configuration. Titans are designed so that weapons can be equipped to suit the mission it has to accomplish. The size of the hull determines how many weapon locations or hardpoints the Titan will have, as well as its speed. Larger hulls can carry more weapons, but are slower due to their increased weight. The categories of weapons which may be fitted depend on the hardpoints. For example, the hardpoints of a Warhound class Titan cannot mount very heavy weapons or missile mounts. All Titan weaponry is interchangeable, however, and a weapon can, for instance, be taken off a Warlord class Titan and mounted straight onto a Warhound. A weapon's effectiveness, though, will change according to the size of the Titan it is fitted to. Considering the awesome arsenal available to a Titan Legio, selecting the most appropriate weapon combination is of utmost importance. Whether they are hunting down enemy Titans, or just annihilating infantry and tank formations. With a Titan War Maniple, this choice takes on a further dimension as each Titan in the Maniple can be tailored to specific roles, which can enhance the strength of others and cover up their deficiencies. There are only three basic possibilities for a Titan weapon configuration. These are the Heavy Support Titan, Close Support Titan, and Assault Titan varieties. A Heavy Support Titan is mostly armed with long-range weapons, and perhaps some kind of one-shot missile system like a Vortex missile. It will also mount at least one Titan-killing weapon, such as a Warp missile, Plasma Destructor, or Volcano Cannon. A Close Support Titan is best armed with short-range weapons, such as a Laser Blaster, Gatling Blaster, Plasma Blast Gun, or Turbo Laser Destructor. An Assault Titan bears the shortest range weapons, such as a Vulcan Mega Bolter, Inferno Gun, and Melta Cannon, and as its name suggests, it is designed for assaulting enemy positions. A common tactic for a Titan War Maniple is to include a mix of Heavy Support Titans, Close Support Titans, and an Assault Titan. This is a flexible formation which allows the Maniple to act and react, no matter what the enemy army consists of. However, some Imperial tacticians have found this mix of Titans to be a bit half-hearted and reactionary. The Titans can cope with many things, but performing a decisive action on the battlefield becomes a much harder task. All Titan maniples contain at least one weapon which can destroy buildings, such as a Quake Cannon, or Multiple Rocket Launcher, or Apocalypse Missile Launcher. This enables the Maniple to open up lines of sight to enemy Titans or tanks, and deny cover to enemy infantry formations on the ground. The power and size limitations of a Warhound Titan greatly reduces the number of possible weapon configurations. 
Warhounds are typically used in two roles, when not acting as scouts or outriders. Their speed allows them to hit deep into enemy territory, to capture objectives and push back opposing infantry and light vehicles. Alternatively, their greater maneuverability allows them to make excellent Titan Hunters, stalking the larger but more unwieldy Titans of an enemy force. This allows the Warhounds to fire upon the thinner armor of a Titan's side or flank, attacking from an unexpected quarter and spreading fear and confusion. A Warhound Hunter detachment is fairly widespread throughout the Titan Legions. Such a unit is obviously outfitted for Titan hunting, allowing the Warhounds to stalk and destroy opponents many times their size and bearing up to twice their combined firepower. The plasma blast gun and turbo laser destructors of the detachment are powerful enough to damage any Gargant or Battle Titan, especially if firing upon the rear or side armor of the target. Gargants, if you didn't know, are the orc versions of the Titans. The Vulcan Mega Boulder is ideal for cutting into enemy troops, either as protection against a mass infantry assault or after the detachment's primary mission is achieved. The Warhounds do not rely on their armor or void shields to protect them. Instead, they try to keep in cover and stay out of their target's weapon arcs. Individual Titans can also be used as Titan Hunter Killers in a similar way to Warhound Detachments. Warlord-class Titans are on the whole too slow for this task, but against Orc Gargants, who are even slower than the Warlords, they can be quite effective. A Warlord mounting a Warp Missile, Volcano Cannon, Gatling Blaster and a Close Combat Weapon can deal out quite a lot of punishment. Against Eldar or Chaos Titans, which are faster, and in the case of Eldar, highly maneuverable, a Reaver-class Titan is probably more suitable. When fighting against the Eldar, a multiple rocket launcher, apocalypse missile launcher, or barrage missiles are essential, as these weapons can be used to destroy a Phantom or Warlock Titan's holofield wings, leaving it vulnerable to attack from other weapons. The Quake Cannon is also a very useful Titan hunting weapon, as its power to destroy buildings denies the target the option of getting under cover. Imperial Titans become increasingly well armored as their size increases. They also have Void Shield generators to augment existing protection, which are able to absorb destructive energy on the Titan's behalf. Of course, there is a limit to how much even they can handle. They are directly controlled by the Titan's Princeps and can be left running even after absorbing dangerous amounts of energy to allow for extra protection. This, however, has a high chance of permanently damaging the generator. Void Shields always come in sets to maximize the likelihood of at least one remaining up after a barrage, the larger Titans possessing up to six or more. They cannot, however, defend against everything. They cannot, for instance, block melee weapon strikes and special weapon technology, like the Titan Warp Missile, which bypasses normal defenses by traveling through the Materium. It is also theoretically possible for a truly massive amount of small arms fire to eventually bring down a shield, giving infantry a tiny chance of affecting a smaller Titan. For practical purposes, however, most infantry weapons would have little chance of damaging the Titan's armor, even if its void shields were down. Furthermore, a mere fraction of a Titan's return fire, or even a Titan's ability to physically crush attackers, makes this an ill-advised option for infantry, except maybe in the most hopeless or desperate situation. Emperor Titans are also commonly equipped with point defense weapons to protect themselves against infantry and aircraft that cannot be dealt with by the targeting systems of their larger scale weaponry. Carapace mounted multi lasers are often employed in this respect, as are more exotic weapons for dealing with aircraft. Tech priests among the crew are charged with maintaining the Titan during the course of a battle. Monitoring the state of the dangerous plasma reactor, which is used to satiate the colossal machine's power requirements. 
They do their best in making sure there is enough energy output to operate as many systems as possible, and that a catastrophic meltdown does not occur. In addition, the tech priest will tend to other devices present on the Titan, guaranteeing that they function to their best ability. In the process of deflecting and absorbing hits, the void shield generators build up a large excess of power, which eventually will cause them to shut down to prevent damage. A tech priest will attempt to withdraw as much of this power as possible, at the same time carefully monitoring the reactor so that the Titan does not take a direct hit. However, when the void shield fails, the Titan can suffer structural damage. In such an event, the tech priest will immediately make sure that the reactor does not threaten meltdown, attempts to bring the void shield generators back online, and then scan the Titan, searching for systems which may have been disabled by damage, and try to repair them. In all these tasks, the tech priest is assisted by a number of servitors hardwired into the machine, or in case of larger Titans, multiple tech priests. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you on the general aspects of Titan weaponry and defenses. I realize I haven't gone into a lot of detail here, but that is precisely because I will do that in future videos. In fact, I intend to go through each of the Titan weapon systems either prior or after I talk about the Titan classes themselves. I still have to decide about that. If you have any thoughts or questions on this topic, always feel free to leave them in the comments below. If this video was informative or entertaining to you, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing for more videos. I thank you kindly for watching and wish you all a great day. The Emperor Protects.